Hey guys, so I hope you can hear me okay. It might get windy. I'm out walking around in Papago Park right now. Just a little reconnection with nature and I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. As you know, it's always my goal here to keep things positive, creative. I'm all about the positive and creative vibes and keeping things happy and I don't see the point in really adding more negativity to the world than there already is. I think though, in light of this week's tragedies, which are just terrible and awful, um, I think we're all pulled down a little bit by that and the negativity is a little bit inevitable. But I've been trying to stay positive and turn things into a positive. I feel like I'm saying that word a lot, but that's the best way to describe it. Um, and then on top of that, of course, I don't want to make anyone's tragedy about me, but it's just interesting how we all deal with everything. Um, but on top of that, I had some weird situations today, and usually two things like this wouldn't happen in the same day, but I had two instances today where my work, my artwork, was being really blatantly copied, and um, I'm not going to go into it, but I feel like this week, like, everything is just weighing down on us and me. Look at my view, by the way. Just beautiful right now. So anyway, it was a rough day and all of that not so fun stuff distracted me from the other work I was going to work on today, like emailing clients and painting. Um, so I was going to just keep working a little bit tonight, cook some dinner, Jake came home from work and was like, hey, I'm gonna go mountain biking. Do you wanna go walk around? And he kind of pushed me to do it. I didn't really want to. And now I'm so glad I'm here. Um, I don't know why I have a tendency to forget how meditative nature can be and how much it reconnects us. Another beautiful guy right here. But I think the first thing we can do is practice gratitude and I hope this vlog isn't like super jumbled thoughts but practicing gratitude but it just really feels good to be outside reconnect um, just kind of feel grounded and be grateful that we have another day grand scheme of things I really don't have anything to complain about my life is wonderful but I'm feeling really grounded by nature right now which is great so I'm glad that Jake pushed me to come out here because I don't know why I even thought I shouldn't like it's wonderful anyway uh, something else I want to tell you guys and in an effort to be more positive I am doing something on my website this week with my art and trying to give back through art. I have some other vlogs that I need to edit and post, but I'm gonna post this one first because it's more time sensitive and I wanna get it up. So rather than just talking about all of this tragedy, I wanted to turn it into something positive, as I keep saying. And I decided that this week, for the next week through June 22nd, I will be donating 20% of the proceeds from the art in my store that is rainbow. So any of my rainbow pieces, which are quite a few, um, I have a lot of different prints, like three or four of my greeting cards, and then my new iced tumbler. Can you hear me? Hold on. from a new location guys. Yesterday I started getting way too much traffic noise and then Jake and I left the park. So I wanted to finish what I was saying here. I'm getting this video up so that you guys have the opportunity to contribute if you would like to. What I'm doing is donating 20% of the proceeds from any rainbow piece in my shop. So that's 
like five greeting cards, prints, um, like my Technicolor Botanical Collection. My new rainbow tumblers are included in that. Basically anything rainbow as a nod to the LGBTQ community. And so for the next week until June 22nd, I started this on June 15th, I am donating 20% of the proceeds. So to explain, I have a blog post that links all of the products that are eligible, but to explain where the money is going to, I decided that I would donate half of it to a relief fund that could use it now and then half for further education in the future. So 10% will be going to the Equality Florida GoFundMe page, which has quite a bit of donation right now, but um, they are not only supporting the Pulse victims, but they are also using it for the LGBTQ community in Florida. So I felt that that was a good cause. That's like the main cause everyone is contributing to right now. But the other organization is the GLSEN, which I did a ton of research about the past couple days and I felt that it was a good one. And I was very happy because I had someone who follows my Snapchat uh, message me and say that they did a lot of work with this organization in college, I believe, high school or college. And she said it was a great one. So that is the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. So they work to educate everyone, no matter what their gender identity may be in schools to create an equal education environment and a safe education environment. So I think this is a great thing to do at a younger level. I think that our generation and the generations below us are so much more accepting of differences and we do view more people as equals. So um, I think it's good to have education at a young age and I hope that the money will do some good. So I put this up yesterday and we've already made some sales of rainbow items, which is exciting. Someone got one of these and then um, cacti kaleidoscope print and some of my greeting cards that are rainbow. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna upload this vlog. Um, I've already been vlogging more footage today that will be in a future vlog, just like a typical day. I'm working on some client work today, both watercolor wedding suites and then a new print that I'm going to release in my shop. So busy day, fun day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys don't wanna to contribute to this cause, totally fine, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying that I wanted to be proactive and do something positive that will help people. So we've got a nice trend going here. I just did Pineapple Triangle um, this month, which is a market here in Arizona. and. All of the vendors, as well as the coordinators of the event, donated 20% of our proceeds to local nonprofits. So I feel like the spirit of giving is kind of happening and I wanted to keep that vibe going. So yeah, I'll wrap up the video. My shop will be listed down below, as well as the blog post if you want specific links to the rainbow items. And my website is of course pagepoppy.com slash shop. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I want you to know that you are loved and we are all capable of having a positive influence on this world and creating something good. So yeah, I'm sending you guys all my positive and creative vibes your way as always. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.